Hi, I'm Holly Sizemore, Chief Mission Officer for Best Friends Animal Society, and this is my co-host and foster kitty, BG. Welcome to Saving America's Pets. Today, we're going to talk about foster fails, or do we really mean foster wins? Best Friends has a campaign going right now that celebrates foster families falling in love with their foster pets and taking that plunge and adopting them. So we have an announcement to make. I'm keeping BG as part of the Best Friends Foster Win campaign. Welcome to the family, BG. We wanna hear about your foster wins, so please leave us your comments and remember to hit like and subscribe. So BG, let's hear about a few other foster wins from around the country. Zach's family said, we never expected going into this that he would fit into our lives so perfectly. Arrow the cat, who was terribly shy at first, not only charmed his human family, but his gentle personality won over the other cats in the household too. River was fostered by a staff member at City Dogs in Cleveland, a Best Friends Network partner. River stood out as a rock star immediately in his ability to communicate with other dogs. And so now as a permanent member of his household, River is an ambassador to other foster dogs coming through. Binks only lasted two weeks as a foster cat before Karen here decided to keep her forever. Tell us about your foster wins and thank you for everything you're doing to help homeless pets. Now I'd like to introduce to you my colleague and friend, Mark Peralta, who is the Senior Director of National Mission Advancement for Best Friends Animal Society. Welcome, Mark. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much, Holly. It's great to talk to you. And who do you have there with you? This is Stevie Wonder, our 14-year-old blind pug. Oh my gosh, Stevie Wonder, oldie but goodie, obviously, he's so cute. Thank you so much. So Mark, you are one of the leading experts in our animal welfare movement, but I also happen to know that you and your wife, Kristen, are something of foster home gurus. How many animals have you fostered? Wow, uh, I would say between us, probably hundreds. My fostering background goes to probably the thousands. I've been fostering since I was in college. Oh my gosh, why did you get involved in fostering? I grew up with animals and have always loved having animals, but my life situation, because I traveled or I was in college, didn't allow me to really feel like I should be owning a pet full time, but I still wanted that comfort level. And I found out about fostering when I was in college. It was mutually beneficial. I got to hold on to them. I got to help them find their new home. And I got the comfort of having an animal and different animals. I met so many cool buddies. Cool. So I know I hear a lot and I bet you do too. People say, oh, I want to foster, but I'm worried I'll fall in love and it will be hard to see them go to their new home. What advice would you give people who have that concern? You're saving lives first and foremost, and you can't have them all. And it's really cool. And just think about it. You get to meet a lot of buddies if you get to find them homes. It's certainly hard. We all get attached to them. But you can really uh, play a huge part in finding a lot of animals homes, helping shelter animals. And again, you get to meet so many more animals if you continue to foster. So it's totally okay. And then you can have those families share all the wonderful pictures of that animal that you fostered and how well it's doing with its new adoptive home. So it it works out in the end. You just have to prepare yourself and, and trust me, it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be great. And sometimes though, people do fall in love. You can't go against love, right? And we hear the term foster fail in those cases. Tell us, what does that mean? Foster fail is unfortunately uh, something that people think is bad, but it's actually really good. It's almost like being an, uh, you know, a data geek these days. We're properly geeks and we're okay to be failures. And, and Holly, I know that you're a foster, a recent foster failure as well, but the heart wants what the heart wants. There's nothing wrong with it. And if you foster fail, it doesn't mean you can't continue to foster. And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing because ultimately we're also trying to find forever homes. So either way, it's a win-win situation in my opinion. What are some of the benefits of getting animals into foster homes? There's a lot of benefits, but most specifically, there's a, it's a huge benefit for the shelter. The biggest reason why is that animals in a shelter environment are stressed out. There's a lot of dogs barking. Even if the shelter is amazing, it's just not 
the same thing as a home. So if they're in a foster home, you really get a better sense of how that animal is going to act in a home, which is what its future, you know, outcome is going to be. So fosters really learn a lot more about these animals. They can give a lot more information for shelters and, and ultimate adopters. So it's huge and it's so much more beneficial to find that animal that forever home. If someone wants to foster and they've never done it before, what is the advice that you would give them? Take the plunge. I mean, there's nothing, you can't do anything wrong. You're going to get support from the shelter. Sometimes it can be a week. Sometimes it can be a month. It depends on the animal and the situation. But if you love animals and you want to help animals, foster, fostering is one of the biggest needs that we have in animal welfare, whether it's growing capacity, which means more animals can be, you know, safely housed by a shelter or what we already talked about finding more information for these animals to find them a home quicker. So just do it. Trust me, you're, it's a win-win situation, whether you fail or you turn into a repeat foster or you only foster one time. It means the world to that animal and, and your shelter partner. Great advice. And thank you. And thanks to Kristen, your wife, for everything you've done for the hundreds of foster animals that have gone through your home and for everything you do to save lives every day. Thank you so much, Holly, and back at you. So talk to you soon. Take care. We still encourage fostering, and whether it be short term, longer term, or you fall in love and adopt, thank you for helping homeless pets. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> everyone. Welcome, everyone. Okay, just leave her alone. Today, we're going to talk about foster fails. <laughs> or is it really foster win? If you, say <laughs> if you fostered or adopted during this crisis, tell us about it in the comments. <laughs> and that's BG saying, Thank you to everyone who fostered and adopted for saving America's pets and for helping to keep our shelter workers safe. Please hit like and subscribe. And remember, together we can save them all.